Hi there! Today I'm back with another video in my series on 55 plus communities here in Ocala. And if you're looking for an age restricted community here in Ocala, you might just want to watch the other videos in the series. But not till you're done with this one. Because <laughs> today we're going to talk about Ocala Palms. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie Frost and I'm a real estate agent in Ocala, Florida. I'm here nearly every week to talk about all things real estate in the Ocala and Marion County, Florida area. So now about Ocala Palms. Well, first off, location. Ocala Palms is located on Highway 27, about a mile from Interstate 75. So it's a great spot with easy access to everything. That part of Highway 27 is in the heart of horse country, so it's a little bit quieter with a good bit less traffic than, say, Highway 200, where several of our other 55 plus communities are. But when I say quieter, I don't mean you're out in the boonies. There's a shopping plaza literally right across from the Ocala Palms entrance with a public grocery store and a bunch of other stuff in it. So you don't exactly have to go out of your way to get groceries or grab a bite to eat or to go to the bank or the drugstore or, well, you get the idea. Now, obviously, Ocala Palms is an age-restricted community, or it wouldn't exactly be part of my 55 plus community series, so there's that. <laughs> One member of the household has to be at least 55 years of age, and you do have to be approved by the board to live there. But so far, I've never had anybody turned down, so I wouldn't stress over it. It is a gated community, and it's also a deed-restricted community. So there are a bunch of rules and regulations that you have to follow, but that's pretty much par for the course in any 55 plus community and a whole lot of non-55 plus communities too, for that matter. Now, when you're comparing active adult communities, Ocala Palms is on the smaller end of the spectrum with just under 1,100 homes. It is also a finished community, so you're not going to be able to get a new construction home here, but on the flip side, you won't have to deal with any construction traffic or noise either. The community was started by Venture & Associates back in 1993, and the last homes were finished in 2007. Most of the homes are concrete block and stucco, but you will see a few wood frame houses with vinyl siding here and there. Not many, but there are a few. Most of the homes are standalone single family homes, but there are also some attached villas. So there's a little something here for everybody, as long as you're over 55. There are several different floor plans to choose from too, with home sizes ranging from 1,050 to 2,654 square feet in size. Most of them are two or three bedrooms, but there are a few four bedrooms homes scattered into the mix too. And Ocala Palms is a golf community. So it's also not that hard to find a home with a great view of the course. A couple of them even have really nice water views. And speaking of the golf course, I'm told that it's a pretty nice one. Great for beginners, but still challenging enough for the experienced golfer. It's a 6,500 yard, 18 hole par 72 course, and it meanders its way through the entire community. It's open to the general public and golf isn't included in your monthly fees, but you can buy seasonal or yearly memberships separately, which is really pretty great for a couple of reasons. One, if you're not living here year round, you're not gonna be paying for golf when you're not here to play. And also, cause if you're not a golfer at all, you're not stuck paying for a membership that you won't use. But if you are a golfer, the club's got you covered because it's got a practice driving range, a practice putting green, a pro shop, and an on-site restaurant. And even if golf is not your cup of tea, Ocala Palms still has lots of stuff available to keep you occupied. It has a great outdoor pool where you can lounge on the sun deck or relax in the spa. There are also three tennis courts, two pickleball setups, six bocce ball courts, and six shuffleboard courts. And if those aren't enough for you, there's also a volleyball court, a horseshoe pit, and a croquet lawn, which should pretty much cover any outdoor sport needs that you might have. And it doesn't stop there. Ocala Palms also has a huge clubhouse with two side buildings housing an indoor pool, a fitness center, an arts and crafts studio, a card room, a sewing room, a billiards room with six tables, a table tennis room, a dart room, a library, a conference room, and even a catering kitchen. And the Royal Paul Ballroom is a great space where residents can gather for meetings, parties, and special events, which they seem to have a whole lot of here. There is always something on their calendar. Residents are in charge of all the clubs, activities, and scheduling, but don't let that worry you even a little bit. Judging from their newsletter and events calendar, this place has a lot going on, pretty much all the time. 
<laughs> they have a ton of clubs and groups for pretty much anything that you can imagine, ranging from arts and crafts to poker and billiards with just about everything else in between. And I'm not just blowing smoke here either. They have a car club, a clogging club, a computer and technology club, a dart club, a digital scrapbooking club, a motorcycle club, water aerobics, Zumba, yoga, ping pong, dominoes, pickleball, line dancing, a motorcycle club. Oh, do I really have to keep going? <laughs> Whatever it is you're into, I'm pretty sure you'll be covered. <laughs> so right about now, you're probably wondering what all this costs every month. I mean, the HOA fees have to be sky high, right? Well, technically speaking, Ocala Palms is not an HOA community in that the residents don't own the amenities and they don't pay a homeowners association fee. Which is not to say that there aren't monthly fees for all this, because there definitely are. You don't get that lucky. It's just not called an HOA fee because you're not paying it to a homeowners association. All the common property in Ocala Palms, including the clubhouse, all the amenities and the roads are owned and maintained and managed by the Ocala Palms Operations LLC. So instead of a homeowners association fee, residents pay a monthly assessment fee which covers maintenance of the amenities and common properties in the community, the front gate attendant, usage of all the recreational stuff and the clubhouse facilities, and once a week curbside trash pickup. Now right now that assessment fee is hovering in the neighborhood of $250 a month, but HOAs and assessment fees are never set in stone at these places. So you can pretty much figure that they're gonna change every year, generally in an upward direction, usually not by much, but just know that depending on when you're watching this video, the fees will probably be a little bit different. There's also a one-time community orientation fee due at closing when you buy a home in there. Currently that fee is just a little under $200, but that could change too. So if an active adult community is something that you've been considering, you might just want to take a look at Ocala Palms or any one of our other several great adult communities that we have here in Marion County. They've all got a ton to offer, but they're all a little bit different too. So get in touch, and I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have to help you narrow down the choices. And together, we can find the perfect community for you.